hi everyone and welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to show you how to prep the base of your hair for a sewing weave with a 4x4 closure so I started out doing about seven or eight small corn rolls at the top of my customers hair and I did it pretty small so that when you go to sew your closure on you can part it in different locations and you'll be able to have that free part that you want. So now right here what I'm doing is I'm taking the braids from the top and I'm just connecting them and making the braids for the back part of my customer's hair. And for the braids on the side, I just braided it straight down. And the part where you go above your ear, I just connected it and I braided it all down. So this is how it should look when all the braids from the top section and the sides are braided together. And now what you see me doing is taking three braids at a time and making that into a plait. And I'm gonna secure the end of that plait with a rubber band. So what I'm doing right here is I'm taking my needle and my thread and I flip the braid up and I'm beginning to sew it down as flat as possible. That's the key to not having any lumps or bumps in your weave when you go to fill through your hair. You have to make sure your braid base is very secure and I'm holding the braid as I'm sewing it down because I'm trying to keep it as flat as possible. Keep in mind though, that you don't wanna pull too tight when you're sewing the braid down because you don't want an extra tight braid base and then an extra tight sewing. Your customer is gonna be very uncomfortable and that could also cause breakage. And we don't need any breakage because when it comes time to take the weave out, we want to still have some healthy hair. So make sure you don't sew extremely tight as you're braiding this, I'm sorry, as you're sewing this plait down. And I just worked on one side at a time. And now you're going to see me come over to the other side just to make sure both sides are very secure and flat. So the part that I'm touching, I didn't get to sew that part down yet because I ran out of thread. So all you have to do is re-thread your needle and begin to sew the bottom part down. And this bottom part is very important and very key in making sure you have no lumps and bumps in your weave because this is where you start sewing the weave at and you don't want that first part to be super lumpy and it's lifted and no that's not going to look too good or feel too good so make sure that part is sewn down really well so i'm working on the next half and i did the same thing that i did with the first half i'm sewing the plait down and i started on one side and then i worked my way to the other side and then i did the bottom
Again, don't forget to hold the plait as you're sewing it down. So this is how it should look once everything is sewn down. And I wish I had a better angle and view to show you, but it was very, very flat and this is what you want. 